Lockin' Nuts, right? We're at Lockin' Nuts. We are here getting the last load. So we're here with Gianna's cousin Cheryl and Steve. Hope you guys are gonna be on the video. Packing up the last. Getting these tied down in the rain. <laughs> Started raining on us. So crazy, huh? We did good. Right? Really good, right? All right, Locker Nuts, we are looking to wrap up this series on the locker I got for $450. I was really hoping that there would be something better in this locker. Um, so many boxes, and it just felt like there's something going to be good in there. It was all right. It was all right, but we do have some jewelry boxes. It looks like there potentially could be some good stuff there, so I've been saving those for last. Let's go ahead and dig in and see if we got what I'm hoping there is, which, of course, gold, silver, and gems let's find out all right let's also take a look at that bag of coins and see if there's anything um you know maybe some older coins or let's see if there's like u.s currency or if it's foreign what it is um i haven't even looked at that either so let's let's dig in and see what we got let's go there's the bag of coins there's another one bag that we found earlier okay here's the one jewelry box we found two and three. All right. Got a decent amount of stuff to get to here. Okay, this to me, yeah, this looks like all kind of like kids stuff, but these are, these are wooden beads that have been painted. It's got a decent little clasp on it. Um, yeah, oh, that's a broken pencil right there. All right, I think some of the stuff I'm just gonna donate. I have had some viewers comment saying even this kind of stuff uh, put it in the auction see what happens but nah, I don't really feel right about that I don't even feel right about putting that in a jewelry like a jewelry bag mystery bag okay this on the other hand maybe it's a little bit better all right take a look at this that's eh. that's all right it's a little better. I mean, at least that's a wearable piece, like for an adult. <laughs> it's not necessarily like kid stuff, like over here. So we'll put that aside. Now, when I did look at this before, I saw some stuff that was potentially, potentially decent stuff. Look at this. This is kind of interesting because those are actually beads right there. It almost looks like it's just a thick strand, but those are very, very thin, small beads. That's kind of nice. A little different. Okay, I don't even know if I saw this before. I don't think I saw this before. This is definitely not child's play right here. This is something decent. It's got some weight to it. And those are some stone, stone beads. Look at that. Stone with like metal spacers in the middle of each one. Pretty cool. That's different. Uh, that's actually pretty nice right there. That will definitely make our auctions. Look at that clasp right there. That's cool. But yeah, that's that's a worthy worthy necklace right there. Cool. Cool, cool. Uh, this one maybe is the one I saw before. Decent. Yeah, that's nice, right? Another decent beaded piece here. Put that aside. This also is something a little bit decent. Not kid stuff, right? These are some light wood beads. Decent clasp on there. I don't know about that, but put it inside. Oh, this looks kind of decent too. Hmm. Uh, this one's missing the big stone right there, so I'm not even gonna put that in our jewelry bag. Brooch. Yeah, this is decent too. It's heavy. All right, this is nice. This is what we saw before. Okay, this is what I saw that I said, all right, I'll hang on a second now. Maybe this is kind of decent, some of this stuff. Maybe it does re deserve a little bit closer look. 
All right. All the stuff I'm putting over here is definitely going to go in a jewelry bag at the very least. If it's good enough, we'll put in trays and put in our auction. The rest of it, we'll just go to charity. I'll just donate that stuff. Yeah. All right, there's the first box. And there's the decent stuff I pulled out here. Okay. Next box. Oh, yeah, this one. Okay. Here's a little bracelet with a little, probably a pewter turtle. This one's nice. Working clasp. Friend. Little tiny locket. This is best. Presidential Academic Fitness Award. I don't think they made those in precious metals. Nice little pin though. Okay, what's this? Okay. That's right, we looked in here before I had a screw. Oh yeah, that's right. This one's got some potential. Let's see what we got. Yeah, that's sticking just so slightly, but it is sticking. All right, bummer. Let's see about the pendant. I don't see any markings on the pendant. It's not sticking to the magnet, but I don't see any markings on it. If it is gold, it's just a little bit of gold. It could be. It could be. This looks like it could be a silver ring right here, but I can't see any markings on it. It's just a little guy, so I'm going to put that in our jewelry bag. That sticks. Oh, there's another little tiny, looks like silver ring right here. This is uh, 925 right here, but you can see it's, it is broken. So there's a little ring or a toe ring or something. It's got little foot marks on there. You see the footprints. Uh, so it's probably a toe ring, but it is 925 and it's broken. I'll put that in a scrap silver bag someday. I'll bring that in and get the silver scrapped. Little bracelet, nothing too special. Another bracelet, nothing too special. Kind of interesting though, look at that. It's like an accordion, the way it works. That's kind of neat actually. Huh. This is also marked 925, very, very small piece of silver there. All right, that sticks to a magnet, that's nothing. That's kind of cool. Bracelet, I mean a necklace. It's actually nice. This is uh, 14 slash 20 GF, so that's gold filled. 14 slash 20, 14 20 is pearl necklace. Got this little turtle right here. He's got a little mark under his chin, but I don't know what that mark means. See that mark? This looks like an M. I don't see any other markings on him. I wonder if he's silver. Oh, that sticks. I get jumped up on the magnet. Hmm, these don't. I'm not so sure about those. Ooh, look at that. It's broken though. I think that was a sterling ring. It's too bad. Hmm, this is kind of funny, look at this. The two little rings. They come together and they get the yin and the yang. This is clever. This I pulled out right here and got it untangled. That's a 925. It's got a little silver there. That's good. Look at this. That's a Ernie, right? And this says copyright Henson and it is sterling. That's neat. That's a silver Ernie. Huh. I'm going to have to look that up. That is definitely... Something a little different. All right, here's another silver necklace. Also marked 925 on there with a little pendant, a little turtle. 
And the Turtles 925 as well. See that? It's got a copyright. 1990. And it's 925. That's pretty neat. Hmm. I expected this to be marked 925, but I don't see a marking on there. I think it still might be silver. It's kind of nice, though, isn't it? Yeah, no mark on this one, but pretty cool. This person definitely liked turtles. There's turtles, and here's a nice little, another little bracelet here with it looks like a dolphin. All right, this ring also, I feel like it's silver, but it's not marked 95. I'm really surprised by that. It definitely feels silver to me. And then we also have this little bracelet right here. But this one does have some markings. Look right here. There's the 925 right there, but what does that say? I think this is Mexico. 925, and then look at this right here. TCH-ID. Hmm. A little silver earring right there. Hmm. All right. I just put all the garbage back in there. So I have a few pieces over here that are mostly, I think all this is silver, except for some of these little pins and stuff. We'll put in a pin lot, silver, junk silver. Yeah, maybe this we'll put over here. We'll put that in the bag, potentially silver. All right, it's not, not that much, guys. I'm most interested in this Ernie right here. Okay, and I do know that I've been saving what I think is the best for last. Let's hope, let's hope, because I saw potential in here. It doesn't mean really much of anything, but all right, well, let's take it out and take a closer look. I saw some rings here that uh, they might add a little excitement to this video. Okay, those are nice, but nothing valuable or anything. Clover. Oh, <laughs> yep, that definitely is not silver. All right, this is not precious, but it looks pretty all right. There's what the tag says right there. Liz Palacious? SF, like San Francisco maybe? I don't know, but it's cool. Now this has got some weight to it. Hmm. I don't see any real markings. Let's see. There we go. See that? 14K. 14K. Ooh, yeah. That's pretty. What does that say? Yeah, it's got someone's initials on it. So, nice little 14K ring with some little diamonds on it. All right. Okay, let's see if this is anything. <laughs> that's, that's a good way to tell right there. And this is not anything either. That's too bad. I was hoping that might be. Yep. That's that. Okay, now we got a little guy right here. 14K gold filled on the necklace. That's the third gold filled necklace I found in this, this locker. Yeah, 14K gold filled on that as well. All right. So this going in the jewelry bag, guys. It's not a bad piece, right? Not bad at all. Okay, two more rings to look at. Let's go with this one. And this is really why I got excited about this uh, jewelry box and saved it for last because the rings, these three rings, and this one, I see the markings. See them? Come on, be real. Come on, be real. Bummer. 14 karat gold filled. Dang. GF gold filled. This is Thailand. And that right there is clickbait. Oh, it is pretty though, isn't it? Mm. Oh man. Alright, now we got this one right here. That's a saf that could be a sapphire with white gold and little diamonds. That would be great. 
Am I wishful thinking? Maybe. I see a little mark right there. Do you see that? Oh, snap. Oh, snap. This is 18K, guys. It's really giving me a hard time focusing. But that is 18K right there. 18K. 18 carat. Oh, that's a pretty ring. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, wow. 18 carat white gold. That's got to be a sapphire with some diamonds. That's a beautiful ring. All right. So, in summary, <laughs> there's the money right there. 14K and 18K. That's really, really good. Really, really, really good. All right, guys. This is the prices of scrap gold that I put together in that recent locker, the one where I found the diamond ring. Found a bunch of gold there, too. So since then, I think gold's gone down just slightly. It's not going to make that big of a difference. But here's kind of the rough prices. So to start out, 14K is $35 a gram. Let's see what we got here. Got 2.8 grams. All right. Eh, not huge money, right? We're looking at like 100 bucks. Not bad. I mean, that's scrap price. Okay, keep in mind, that's scrap price. It's not scrap ring. Although it's got some initials on it. and It's going to affect the value. Now we got this guy right here. This is the pretty one. 18K. 2.6. That includes the stones. What are we looking at there? We're looking at... Mm, Probably 120, 125 dollars, I'd say. That's scrap weight, okay? So just keep in mind, I'm purely looking at like basically a base. These are worth no less than that because that's their worth in scrap, all right? They're, of course, worth more than that to somebody who wants to wear them, buy them as retail. The white one, especially because this one's got uh, initials on it. The white one, I don't even see scuffing on these guys. I don't, I don't really think these were worn. <laughs> they don't look worn. Okay, I mean, I would love for just like a couple pieces of jewelry to more than pay for the cost of the locker. It's not the case here. It certainly was in that other locker, but um, I don't care. I'm happy with that. If there's whatever, $225, let's just say, in those two rings, that's half of the locker in two very small, small pieces of jewelry. We have all the silver. We have uh, some gold and silver we found on the first day. And, of course, we have all the items that we found in this locker. Um, I'm about to wrap this up, but first, let's take a look at that coin bag. Because, obviously, there's some money in that as well. Because we're talking about money. We'll kind of drop it on this cardboard right here so it's easy to clean up. Okay, this looks like all foreign money. All right. Thank you. The Mexico. Did we already look at this? No, we didn't. Mexico. All right. 10 dias. 20 vente pesos. Very nice. Yeah, this looks like Mexican money too. Right. That's cool. We'll be doing a foreign currency uh, lot coming up in our auction. We'll add all this to a to a nice. Uh, bin of coins that have already started and cash money too so there's a canadian dollar i've had a couple comments saying that these are no longer in circulation might be a little collectability because they now use coins for the one dollars all right central bank of egypt one pound boy their money is definitely has a different feel this could be old huh that could be old central bank of egypt all right. Feels old, but they could just not make their money like we do in the U.S. here. The U.S., I think, has a pretty good quality of money. You know, their money is high quality. Does that sound weird to say? It's not really. It's, it's the truth. There's a bunch of uh, just regular old coins, which are great because we're we'll be adding those to our coin star. Republica Italiana, 1974 on that. Boy, these were, um, hmm, these were in a plastic bag. I kind of think I'm going to put those back in just because of the quality of those. 
I wouldn't say they're uncirculated, but they're in very nice condition. There's got some more foreign money. Let's see what kind. Pence, new pence. That's English money. Okay, what do we got here? Ventacinco centavos. Okay, but that doesn't tell me what country. Some Spanish speaking country. So maybe that's south of the border. It'd be really interesting if we got something older. Mexico, 1962. All right, these are something else here. This is Mardi Gras, New Orleans. 1985, and this is Hard Rock Cas Hotel Casino Chip, one dollar. Oh man, this is turning into be mostly foreign currency. That's foreign, I think that's France. All right, there's some dimes. Bring on the US money, 1999, we'll take it. Quarter, foreign, 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 much pennies. These are not old pennies. I don't see any wheat pennies. Foreign nickels, okay. So I'm gonna separate out all the foreign stuff, put that in our foreign lot. All the American United States currency coins we're going to put in our Coinstar bucket. There's a Kennedy, 84. If I find any older coins, I'd love to auction it. But it's mostly newer stuff, 70, 72. All right, not that much U.S. Bunch of foreign. This is all going to get auctioned off in one huge lot, and we'll be adding that, adding more to it. So that'll make a nice, exciting auction. In case you're wondering what I mean by Coinstar jug, <laughs> this is my jug. It's just a plastic jug. Um, starting to get pretty heavy. Got to be careful with the plastic. I took this funnel and uh, cut it off so it's a little bit wider. Put it right there, and this is what I do whenever I find a decent amount of change. Then I always, whenever I have some extra change, I have this mug sitting on my desk. I always throw the change in there just so I can be efficient. I don't drag this jug out every day. All right, so work on filling that back up. Close it up, push it under, wait till the next coin haul, and uh, hopefully we'll, we'll fill that up soon so we can go to Coinstar and have a video. How much things in that jug, I don't know. I really have zero clue. It's all guesswork at this point. All right, guys, well, that's gonna do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope that was an interesting video. I don't really know. Um, we had a couple good finds in there, but not as much as I was hoping, and not as much in the last one. If you guys didn't watch that video where I found the diamond ring, that was, now that was a jewelry score. Um, but in that one, of course, I found a whole bunch of little jewelry boxes, and I peeked in a couple to know that there's some good stuff in there, and then we saved them all to go through at the end, and that was well worth it. The diamond ring, of course, was the was the most exciting, like you know, the climax of the of the series or whatever. Because that was one and a half over one and a half carat diamond uh, in a little solitaire setting. It was beautiful. It was epic. It's really really quite a find. Um, but then when there's other pieces too, like we had two earrings. Each one was a half carat, right? A pair of earrings, half carat each. So. A, Carat, one carat total. We just auctioned that off last week. Lots of exciting stuff. Some of the stuff you saw me pull out tonight uh, will also be in our auctions this week. If you guys aren't sure what I'm talking about, we do live auctions every Monday night at 5 p.m. Pacific. And then every now and then we also pop up an auction midweek. This week it looks like it's gonna be on Friday night. We don't always do them, but when we do, we try to always have a good selection. Every auction we have a great selection of items. We only bring the best to the auction. All right, the rest of it either goes to the market or to the donation, and we do e eBay, but the best stuff we bring to our auctions makes for a fun night, so check it out if you haven't before, okay? Thank you so much for watching. If you watch this whole series, just wanna say how much I appreciate that. If you haven't seen it, I do have a playlist set up so you can watch all the all the you know videos in the series. This was part five, and uh, but after this, I gotta go buy some lockers because I'm out of videos, it's actually perfect timing because tomorrow, guess what, is the storage auctions. So I'll be there. 
hoping to buy something good so we can keep these videos rolling because I'm having fun. I hope you are too. All right. The next video will be out as soon as I can get it out. <laughs> Hopefully soon. But until then, good luck to you. God bless you. We'll see you next time here on Locker Nuts. Uh, it's Grace's first driving lesson. Still in an empty parking lot. Hopefully it's empty. <laughs> Try to stay on your side of the road, but you're on the <laughs> sorry, opposite sorry. side, but that's fine. <laughs> I'm nervous. Because we're coming up to a little bend here. You're doing fine. Where did you go? Yeah.